Hi, Button. Welcome to Chat with an Acrobat. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you, dear. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so excited to have you on my new series, and you are joining us all the way from KSA, uh, Saudi Arabia. It's such a pleasure to have you on, Faten. Like you are so online, dear. <laughs> You're so amazing. Um, you know, when we met in Saudi Arabia, um, this was like pre-pandemic. It was so incredibly special. I had come over um, for work. I was working for the Daria season, which is so incredibly popular uh, in uh, Riyadh, which is the city that you uh, that you live in, that you work in, that you have your businesses in. And it was like so amazing, like how we met each other. I was on my my, uh, usual coffee adventures uh, within uh, my my new my new place. I mean, I was so excited to be in Saudi Arabia. And for listeners out there, if you're not familiar, if you have not been to KSA, their coffee scene is incredible and on a different level. And Fatin is like a rock star uh, in the coffee. Oh, thank you. <laughs> in Riyadh, like I, when I was going around with a fellow circus performer, his name is Marco. He does Russian bar for all of my circus people out there. He is the reason why I ended up um, spiraling to meet Fatin. Um, he owns his own coffee shop in Montreal. Shout out again to Marco. And and um, he goes around and he uh, he goes around to so many different places. And we went on so many different adventures. And that is the reason why I was able to meet him. And she, everywhere you would go, I mean, <laughs> people would speak about her. And <laughs> we, were, we were like, wow, this is like such an incredible person. So I know I'm kind of like butchering a little bit about who you are and what you do, Fatin. Um, but can you say like, yeah, like, who are you? Like, what do you do? And uh, why are you the uh, the rock star in the coffee world yeah. in, in Saudi, in Riyadh? Um, again, it's like such an epic scene there. And doing, uh, if listeners don't know, if you listen to my other podcast, I love coffee. Um, you know, circus and coffee really does it for me. And um, putting both of my, like, you know, <laughs> my loves together is my favorite thing to do. And the discovery that I get through performing in the world is that I get to blend both um, most of the time. So Fatin, yes. What is your, you know, we met, uh, we met at a coffee shop where you were, what is your, what was your title there? And, um, you're not now working there. You've now moved, um, since we've met, but what, uh, you are, you are the connoisseur to, uh, yeah, to top all connoisseurs, aren't you? <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for this amazing introduction. And to all the listener, please don't believe her. I'm not rock star. <laughs> I'm nothing but that. <laughs> I'm just a coffee holic. I'm just I'm just a coffee holic. Uh, I was an HR manager when we met, uh, if you remember, uh, and I was the head of quality. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I I I did I did that title for two years I think or maybe a year or eight months yeah and then uh, like I told you um, my colleague convinced me to to start a new business so I start my own roastery now with my partner Rami uh, shout out for Rami also <laughs> and uh, now I'm, I have a, I have a, my own roastery and uh, three months from now, inshallah, I'm going to open my own cafe. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Like, I cannot believe that now you're like opening up your own cafe. I mean, it's 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 also it's it's such an incredible uh, competitive business, like the coffee business. Mm -hmm. the PSA is so competitive. Like, what are you guys putting into it that is like your own style, like your own perspective on coffee? Because... Yes. To set, like, you know, to set yourselves apart. I mean, because you're so fascinating. You're so interesting. We were able to dial into each other so much uh, when I was in Saudi Arabia. And you have so many different um, facets of yourself that you put into your coffee mastery, which is what I like to call it, too. That's, that's how I think about you, Fatin. When I think about you, I think about coffee. I think about mastery. But, yeah, what are you bringing to the scene that is all your own that makes it so unique? Oh, thank you so much. I do you remember when you when you are Saudis? 
you did go to, to, to many coffee shops, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> And when when we are com- when you are coming to 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 the coffee shop I work with or work in, what's the difference? What was the difference between the, the cafes? Mm, you know, it was different. Some had a deeper sense of community. Um, I would say some felt more organically inclined. Um, mm. Some had more uh, depth and love for the coffee. Some were a little bit more superficial and on the surface. And some felt like an Apple store, which did not feel. <laughs> it looked cool. I think, but I know my, you were coffee... <laughs> my coffee soul was not uh, as uh, enhanced, I would say. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you see all that. I want to I wanna change it in the market. You know, mm. I want to build something never built before in coffee industry. Oh. I want to build a community that people can can go and 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 you know, like socializing in a different way. Not just go and drink a cup of coffee and chat about something in work or something in life or. No, I want to build a relationship between the coffee or the cafe and the people. I want to even make my my cafe, uh, uh, you know, like making a spot for podcasting. For for example, I want to I want to put it in a spot in the cafe uh, for 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 people who want to podcast someone. And you can podcast them here, and the sound of track will be like I told you: uh, the the coffee machine, the grinders, coffee uh, roaster, etc. And uh, even if one if a musician want to play to to people, you can come to the cafe, and we can put a stand for you, or a circus, <laughs> or a circus. Why not? Yes, why not? It will be out outside of the cafe. <laughs> Because our cafe is so small, so. I'll, I'll bring you podcasting and circus. That'll be my yeah. option. Like, I'm, so, I'm super excited to, um, to record and to, like, interview you in your podcast setting inside of your cafe. And, uh, yeah, do a little show for you also, too, um, oh, when I come be, by. It will be an honor. It will be an honor, Shanae. The pleasure and honor is all mine. I'm so, so, so excited and so happy for you. I mean, like, wow, that is huge to be able to do that. And I mean, we talked about expansion and stuff too, of like how big you want your reach to be um, Mm -hmm. in terms of like, you know, um, your coffee business um, and, you know, how you kind of want to evolve that into so many different places, even outside of Saudi, even outside of Riyadh. Like that's, that's that's so amazing and impressive and inspiring. Yeah, because if you if you look look for example for the American culture, American culture is everywhere now, right? Mm-hmm. And it's so good. It's so good to have another culture in in your country. So that that's exactly what I want to do. I want to build a culture here and bring it up to Europe, for example, or even America. You know, mm-hmm. like a different culture. But the culture is all around the cafes and the coffee. That's that's one of my one of my goals. Mm. It's not about open up cafes and all around the world and just have money. No, it's about connection with people all around the world. And that's how we met. You know, I mean, that's. Yeah. That's how we met in our through connection and through us being open and being willing to be in connection um, with one another. I mean, that's one of the gifts that I get from traveling um, because of circus and then being open because that's been a gift that I've been given from circus. And this is a gift that you've been given by coffee because yes. it definitely is something that brings us together. And I love the culture uh, in Saudi and in Riyadh because that is so very unique. Um, it's a very unique essence of uh, what aspects and what kind of love and essence you bring into your coffee experience um, that I think is very very different from many other countries and cultures that I have been to. Um, and I would say firsthand that everybody needs to go to experience it. <laughs> Cause I will, I will definitely be back. I'm already planning. You, know why? you came, you came at the middle of the changes. That's why it was very unique. 
If you came now, you will see another different uh, culture that you experienced last year. Mm, how so? How is it even more different? And how is that changing your connection? It's better. It's better. It's better. Yeah, it is. It is better than last year. Oh, wow. That's, oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, so- yeah, that's, that's one, of, one of the reasons that I'm so excited to have you. <laughs> <laughs> See the, the changes I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow. Wow, what else does that look like? What else does that feel like? Also, too, within the connection of what you want to do like um, with your copy business and also to the other facets, like you're saying, that you will be able to do because there's so many changes. Like, I was so grateful to be in Saudi during that shift. Um, and we were there because of that shift. And um, I thought that there was an incredibly precious moment. It was not lost on me. It wasn't lost on any of us, actually, like while we were there performing um, for the Dia season. So what, how does that impact um, your future visions? And then just kind of like in the day to day, you know? Actually, it makes my vision uh, more bigger, you know, with mm-hmm. these changes, because if we didn't change, I, I will not dream about that, to be honest. Mm. But now you can dream for, for big, you can, you, can, you can reach whatever you want, if you work hard on it. Yeah, like the sky is the limit now. I think there is a, it's so important when you feel like there is no limit there. There is like no, you know, ceiling of, because I mean, like, you know, besides coffee, like you have so many different interests. I mean, <laughs> I do. <laughs> You you love to do a lot of things and you bring that into, you know, um, like I loved hearing about all the podcasts that you love that are centered in and around coffee and centered around different things as well. Like what other things like, yeah, like do you love that are charming in that way? Like I thought that was something that I thought was really cool and creative and interesting for me too, because it's something that I have such like a love in obviously too, being a podcaster and like loving coffee and infusing it too. But you look into so many different realms to get inspiration for like what you do. And for people that like don't really understand what you do and like the roasteries and like what goes into that, like the, the coffee chemistry, I would say, like, can you explain a little bit more of that, Fatin, and like what gets you going about that? And like explain it to people that don't know that because you, you know, we're explaining so many things like Marco the fellow circus performer is also very genius and obviously very analytical about coffee and the way yeah, that he it. Is- way that he loves it but I am not someone who experiences coffee on that level mine is not superficial but it's more feeling based and I it's obviously very feeling based for you too but I don't really have the language like Marco has or like you have you know for example on like what goes into this type of um environment or this type of like you know focus yeah exactly uh it it is it is chemistry it is uh when you're dealing with coffee you're dealing with chemistry you're dealing with science it's not just about buying green coffee or green beans and put it in the roaster and just, you know, turn on the gas. It's not about that. It's something you study. It's something you practice to get good at it, you know? And uh, it's, it's, it's more complicated than people think. A coffee roasters, it's not something easy to do or something, you know, everybody can do. It's not. Uh, how can I phrase this? But when you when you buy green beans, for example, you have to make sure that the, your green beans is good and have very good quality. And the way you know that is by by studying the chemistry of a green coffee and the, the roasted coffee. So when you roast it, you have to taste it. And when you taste it, you have evaluated. So it's it's very big process. Very, very... Uh, how can I say that? It's it's difficult. It's difficult for for a business. I love the way that you experience coffee, the way that you speak about coffee, and all of the things that you're putting into the world, Fatin. You are so amazing. You were so gracious to us circus people that just, you know, walked into your space and uh, walked into your world. We were, you know, very, you know, high energy and uh, we were so excited to meet you.